What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Iconic Repaints. I'm excited to actually show you guys what I've been working on lately. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up, but first and foremost, uh, today's video is going to feature something that's really special. I actually been wanting to get this kit for myself for a while, but this is actually a commission and it is the KOC 40 centimeters Godzilla 1955. It's one of the newer popular kits out there and I believe it's still KOC's most recent release they came out with the 1962 to 1964 and the 1999 this one being a kind of a Showa fan myself and the 1955 is just a suit that you don't get a lot of love for um, in the way of merchandise so this one really had my eye from the beginning like say what you want about Godzilla Raids again uh, as a film especially the American version of it but I like the suit. I know it's not really the best well made. It doesn't really have the um, the presence that the 1954 suit did, but not many suits do. And in its way, it's very animalistic, very feral. Um, and the way it moves and uh, does battle in the in the movie is very unsettling. And it just kind of adds to his overall creepiness, especially that little derpy face he's got with those beady eyes. It looks like something straight out of somebody's nightmare. And it really does kind of feel like um, 1950s B-movie horror in all the best ways. The sculpt itself is phenomenal. As usual, Akira Abaraki really sets the bar extremely high. I don't know if I've ever seen a 55 look nearly as impressive as this. Uh, there's a couple runner-ups, but when you see like this, the size and scale of this thing, uh, it's it's really impressive, and and that's no surprise there. He's in a lot of people's opinions, he's up there uh, as one of, if not the top Godzilla sculptor out there now. I know Sakai is up there as well, of course, but um, this is just really phenomenal work. Not only does this thing have impressive height but it's so heavy uh, it's way heavier than the t-s factos godzilla kits that i've had um, this guy is solid um very extremely heavy also like his other sculpts this also comes with interchangeable heads um you have a more neutral head-on looking uh sculpt for one head and then you also have the head turn to the left almost 90 degrees where he's looking over his shoulder uh, it really, both heads are great, um, but the head turned one, I mean, I think certain suits could really, obviously, that would only make sense for certain suits, and it definitely makes sense for this one. There's like a lot of just iconic moments where you have these, this Godzilla with the big broad shoulders and his head turned all the way to the side. It just, you know, it just not only is it iconic to this look, but it also looks very menacing, but I really do like both. Like if you have an angerous eventually that goes along with this, the, the head forward pose, it looks terrific. Now, I've always heard with the recent KOC kits that they're really easy to put together, that really, uh, it doesn't take a lot of skill to do so. I gotta say, this being my first one, I was still shocked with how well engineered this kit is, how user-friendly they've made it for builders. Um, the fact that other kits aren't doing the same thing is honestly offensive now. Like, this is the way it should be. I didn't have to sand a single piece. Everything fit snug. Um, the, the parts already come pinned, and it's really just a matter of gluing things into the right position and getting the right paint job. I usually dread doing the spines. Like when t I have a T's Facto kit I'm working on, and every spine comes individually uh, cut to be placed. It's it's my least favorite thing to do. And everybody's always like, hey, I mean, doesn't it relax you? Doesn't building these kits, uh, you know, and taking your time on it relax you? I'm like, no, it doesn't relax me at all. This is my least favorite part is actually building the kits. I want to paint them. Building them takes up a lot of time. It's a lot of, you know, having to fit things. That doesn't relax me. I, I, I just want things to come out of the box, fit the way they're supposed to fit, and I can do my thing. Kit building, oh man, it's just it's just such a process. It's drawn out. It's it's messy. No, it doesn't relax me at all. But having said that, uh, it is something that I am getting better at. Uh, but if you have companies doing what KOC is doing, 
I'll build kits all day. So yeah, even the spines, like I was saying, like um, they come on a on a strip that is like one whole row of spines is one piece, and like you would hopefully expect, it actually all fits into the slot. So you don't have to sand everything for each individual spine to fit. You you just worry about the one row of spines and it goes in. I cannot express how much I appreciate that. It really allows you to just kind of like stay on your track of momentum and keep going rather than, you know, working on spines for three, four days or sometimes if you have a daytime job, you know, you only get to do it on weekends. It takes you like two or three weekends to finish um, a big hit with a lot of spikes of spines. So yeah, um, I, I can't applaud KLC enough, both in terms of his sculpt work, the likeness to the suit, and just how simple it is to put this uh, piece together to be painted. You know, the painting part is always where um, I think it makes it makes or breaks the final product. So you still, you know, gotta really respect the uh, material here and the time it takes to to make this beauty pop. But um, overall, I think this is a, a centerpiece status uh, sculpt. I think as a model kit, I really think it's as far as right now, it's the quintessential Godzilla 1955. Um, a masterpiece pretty much in every way. It's got size and presence. It's going to look awesome on a shelf or in a display. And if you really appreciate the 1950s uh, horror aspect of the classic Godzilla, then this really fits the bill. I mean, this thing, regardless of how anybody feels about the movie, anybody casually walking in and seeing this guy displayed somewhere, is going to he's going to command a lot of respect. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Everybody be safe. Peace.